hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this simple text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in adobe after effect let's create a new composition and we are going to name it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 second long and duration we are going to choose 20 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title safe action then i'm going to select my text tool and i'll type my text you can type whatever text you want but before that font i'm going to choose oswald font regular version of it and let's uh, delete this stroke we don't want that and i'm going to choose purple color for this uh, color for text and let's type our text i'm going to type let's type text text only let's choose full resolution select this and let's increase this font size it's totally up to you then select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s4 scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this now select this text and go inside this animate menu and we are going to choose position first and let's bring this position downwards go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start zoom in a little bit go to around 1.15 frames and let's make this 100 now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift and move one handle over here and move one handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation then again i'll go to the add menu over here go to the property and we are going to choose blur first and let's increase the blurry value to 50 then go to the add property and choose op sorry or oh, choose opacity and let's make this value zero okay so if you see we will get this kind of animation along with that i'll go to the add property and i'm going to choose tracking and let's make this value somewhere around like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation over here okay and then uh, i'm going to select this text layer over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it and over here i'm going to change the color of this one to yellow so i can understand this is different color uh, layer go to the character menu and over here i'm going to delete this fill and i'll choose white color for the stroke and stroke width i'm going to choose one pixels over here okay just like this then after that we need to create some background elements for it so for that i'm going to press ctrl n to create another composition and i'll call it as bg elements and hit ok then select your ellipse tool and let's delete this stroke we don't need that go to the fill options and we are going to choose purple color again and hit ok and by holding shift i'll select create one ellipse select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center select this let's move this over here select this and we will hit ctrl d and we will try to adjust the position somewhere around like this and you can increase the size of them you can play around with the sizes it's totally up to you okay just like this now select all of them and uh, go to the effect and presets panel and search for uh, wiggle position effect and simply double click to apply so we will get this kind of stuff then go to the start press s create one keyframe go to around 1.15 frame let's create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this value zero then select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here so if you see we will get something like this now select all of them and hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top and over here i'm going to choose fill color white color and hit u and let's decrease the size a little bit like this so we will get this kind of animation effect then again i'm going to select all this uh, uppermost file layers i'll hit ctrl d i'll bring them at the top and this time i'll delete this fill i don't want any fill and i'm going to choose stroke color and for the 
color i'm going to pick up this color like this and press p for position and you can bring this a little bit out of this stuff over here so we will get this kind of animation and now i want them to be animated one by one so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a distance of five frames i'll select all of them by hitting ctrl a hold alt close bracket to trim this right click go to the keyframe assistance and choose sequence layers and simply hit ok so we will get something like this and let's increase this duration so if you see now we will get something like this okay then go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and let's bring our bg element over here okay and if you think the this is quite slow then you can right click go to the time time re, uh, time stretch effect and you can choose 70 percent like this okay so we will get that uh, effect a little bit faster okay like this then i'm going to select this first layer uh, of text over here and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll bring this after this bg uh, element and go to the character uh, menu and instead of this white color <coughs> with the help of this picker i'll pick up this color hit ok and press s and let's increase the size of this layer like this and choose stroke width point 2 okay so we'll get this extra stroke now select this second text layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect to apply and double click and increase the distance to 10 or let's say 20 increase the softness to 200 and over here for the color with the help of this picker i'll pick up this color and hit ok like this okay so we'll get something like this and as you guys can see we have one uh, white stroke layer so you can go to the character menu and if you want then you can increase the stroke width of that to let's say three just for now okay so uh, let's choose quarter resolution so we can see the animation over here like this now after that uh, let's make this full resolution right click new and create one adjustment layer and go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow if not drop shadow but let's say blur effect you can choose gaussian blur and let's increase the blurriness to 100 like this and select your ellipse and i'm going to create one mask on that layer like this now select this over here and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center okay then go to the start select this adjustment layer press p create one keyframe go to around one second uh, let's select this adjustment layer and move this over here go to around two seconds and let's move this over here go to around three seconds and let's move this over here like this and go to around four seconds and select first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v and select those keyframes and by holding alt i'm going to type loop out expression over there like this so if you see uh, we will get a little bit of that animation over here then let's go somewhere around last keyframe select this hit ctrl d hit u or instead of that simply right click new and you can create one null object select this adjustment layer make it apparent with this null one select this null one and let's move this over here like this okay and then delete that null object we don't need that then uh, we have this white color stroke then you should bring this at the top so it will come over here okay like this so now if you see this animation we will get something like this but along with that uh, i need this back text animation should be in the animated format so press p for position and let's move this over here create one keyframe go to around six seconds let's move this text from here to here like this so what will happen if you enable this icon uh, as you guys can see we will get this text animation over here like this if you want then you can move this slightly over here like this okay so we will get something like this okay 
तो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट दिस काइंड ऑफ सिंपल टेम्पलेट and along with that you can right click new and create one null object select all of this layers and make it apparent with this null one and so you can select this bg element and click on this icon over here then select this null object press s create one keyframe over here go to around 6 seconds and let's make this 90 okay or you can make it to 85 also and hit n so you will get a little bit of scaling animation also